so now we will convert this Hindu Arabic numeral to a Babylonian numeral. In order to do this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at the place values in the Babylonian system. And the place values are really just consecutive powers of the base. So the first place value, the ones place, is actually the base 60 to the 0 power. 60 to the 0 power is equal to 1. The next place value would be, well, in our place value system um, that we use, the next place would be the tens place, but the base is not 10 here, it's 60. So the next place value is actually the 60s place, 60 to the first power, which is 60. So that's the second place value in the Babylonian system, the 60s place. The next place value is actually the 60 squared place, or the 3600 place. And we continue like this until we find the place value. We want to find the largest place value that is still less than our number. The number we have is 26,220,702. So we need to keep going until we find the largest place value that is still smaller than that number. So the next place value would be the 60 to the third place, 60 to the third. And 60 to the third power is uh, 216,000. Okay, so we're getting closer. The next place value would be the place for 60 to the fourth power. And 60 to the fourth power is uh, 1,296,000. 000. I got that wrong. That's actually 12,960,000. So that place value is the um, largest place value that is still smaller than this number. If we go 60 to the fifth power, it's going to be a number um, much larger than 26 million because we already are up to 12 million here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see which numeral is going to go in each place value. So we have one, two, three, four, five place values. So this is going to be kind of like a five digit number. And we need to figure out what each one of those uh, numerals that go in each one of those five place values are. So we're going to start from the place value furthest to the left and work our way to the right. So we're going to start with the place value which is the 60 to the fourth place, or this 12,960 place. So what we want to do is we want to see how many times uh, 12,960,000, 12,960,000, we want to know how many times that goes into 26 million, 220,702. So this is the division that we're going to do. And upon doing this division, we see that this 12 million actually goes into 26 million twice. So in the first place value to the left, we're going to have to put the numeral to represent the number 2. Upon doing this, we see that the remainder the remainder here is actually, uh, let's see, that's uh, 300,702. 300, so that's 300,702 is the remainder. What we're going to do with the remainder is we're going to divide the next place value down into the remainder to see how many. Uh, what um, numeral we need to put in that place value. So let's go ahead and do that here. So we're going to take our uh, 300,702 and we're going to divide it by the next place value down which is actually the uh, 200 and 16 thousandths place. So the 216 thousandths place. 
and we want to see how many times this goes in and it turns out this goes in one time one time and the remainder for this case when you do this division the remainder comes up to be 84,702 84,702 and we're going to take the next place value down which is the uh, 3600 place and we're going to see how many times that goes into the remainder here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that 84,702 we just found as the remainder and we're going to divide it by the next place value down which is the 3600 place and it turns out that that goes in uh, Let's see, 23 times, 23 times, and remainder upon division is uh, 1,902, 1,902. All right, so we're going to continue in this fashion. We're going to divide this remainder, 1,902, by the next place value down from the 3,600 place, which is the... 60s place. So we're going to see how many times 60 goes into that remainder. 90, oops, that's not how you divide. So we want to see how many times our 60 goes into 1902. And this turns out to be 31 times with a remainder of 42. All right, so moving right along, let's see. So the last thing, well, the last place value is the ones place. We don't really need to do this, but if to be consistent, we want to see how many times the one goes into 42, which is obviously 42 times. And you don't stop here until you get a remainder of zero. And anytime you get down to the ones place, you will have a remainder of zero. So now I know what numerals I need to put in each of these place values first they're going to be one two three four five place values and the numerals that I'm going to put in are numerals to represent two one twenty three thirty one and forty two so let's go ahead and do that so the first place value is going to need to have a 2 put into it because uh, these are the actual numbers that we're going to create Babylon, Babylonian numerals for. 2, 1, 23, 31, and 42. So the place value all the way to the left needs to have the Babylonian numeral for 2 in it. So I'm going to put two hash marks for the Babylonian numeral for 2. The next place value needs to have the Babylonian numeral for 1 in it. So I'm going to make one hash mark to represent the Babylonian numeral for 1. All right, the next place value needs to have the Babylonian numeral for 23. Well, that's going to be two of these and three vertical hash marks. That's 23. The next place value needs to have the Babylonian numeral for 31, which is 1, 2, 3, and a 1. And the next place value needs to have the Babylonian numeral for 42, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So there we have it. We've written that Hindu Arabic numeral, uh, and we've converted it to the Babylonian numeral. Here's the Babylonian numeral that represents the original number 26,220,702. This is how a Babylonian would view that number.